for a lot of people that stands for integrity. Well, a few, few people. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. I've come to you with a very sad and extremely disturbing video cam of a deputy sheriff going into a black woman's home after being called because there's prowlers around her place. She calls the sheriff's department. Sheriff's department comes over there and question her. Uh, she's a little off in her speech a little bit. She goes over to tend to the boiling water on the stove. And next thing you know, the deputy escalates and says, get away from the boiling water. And she says, you got to be kidding me. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And he lies for the way he takes out his service weapon and he puts two in her. He shoots her. He kills her. What's appalling to me is that as soon as he drew his gun, then the other deputy drew his gun. You got a clear idea of what's going on. The woman has a pot of boiling water in her hand. The deputy lies and says, after whoever the inspector or maybe the chief comes over and says, where's the gun? Oh, oh did you shoot her? Yes. Huh. He just said, yeah, huh? He said, she came at me with a pot of boiling water. There is nothing in that video, nothing, zero zilch nada in that video where you can even begin to even insinuate or see or say that she was actually coming at him and threatening him with a pot of boiling water. Now a woman has gone off into eternity, lost the only life that she had because of one deputy's incompetence. Nevertheless, this coward, this sheer coward of a deputy is, is now in jail and he's pleading not guilty. You go kill someone in cold blood and uh, you're pleading not, not guilty. I'm beginning to wonder now who the crazy one is. The woman who actually called for the help of the actual sheriff's department and when you call, you end up dead? Or the one who just shot somebody innocently without a firearm, a knife, or anything, a pot of boiling water that she was just taking to the sink. You can clearly see that she was taking it to the sink. And then she said, I'm telling you what I think it is. And I'm going to tell you, he's the one that's a fringe lunatic. And he doesn't need three squares and a cot. He need the same thing done to him, what she did to him. Instead of giving him 20 years to life and three squares and a cot, he needs the same thing done to him. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened. That woman invoked the name of Jesus. Now, remember, those of us who understand the scripture, the thief coming not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Notice the thief. I'm going to help some of you people out there real quick who don't get this. She says, after that spirit said to her, to put the boiling water down. She said, what? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. He said, what did you say? Or say what? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Pow, pow. Now you think about that. If that, if that deputy sheriff did not have murdering demonic spirits already in him, would he have shot that woman? Remember, again, John 8, 32, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Think about that for a second. Can you imagine that? Oh, excuse me. That's you shall know the truth and truth shall make you free. But think about that. Yeah, you do need to know the truth and truth will make you free. But that woman died an innocent. She died in cold blood after calling the sheriff's department. Man, I tell you what. I, I tell you, it's sad. It, it's totally 100% sad. It really is. Well, yeah, that's what it is. John 10, 10. I'm putting John 10, 10. Oh, mine is slipping here, ain't it? The thief, and, and um, the King James Version of the Bible says, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that you might have life and that more abundantly. So if the thief, meaning Satan, the devil, is come to steal, kill, and destroy, guess how he did this? He used someone who had a badge and a gun who was unhinged and fearful and cowardly and killed an, an older mama with a pot of water in her hand. Y'all y'all understand the gravity of this? She is gone out into eternity. Boy, tell you what, tell you what, as you have done, so shall it be done to you.